say it was gonna be a coffee break like last year, but this girl doesn't have any sugar, so I just had to grab some tea, enough. nice tea and not coffee. No, you don't need more caffeine. You're enough already. <laughs> don't need more of it. Yeah, that's it. So, mm. what's well, up, Lorenzo? Cheers, cheers first cheers, of cheers, all. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I really apologize if my voice really just sounds um, tired and I look tired. Uh, it's because I am. <laughs> In fact, tired. we're in Finland now, yeah. first of all, and uh, she's tired because we just got, from, well not now, but we went to this really traditional party. A Krev Shiva. And uh, I had no idea what I, what I was gonna see, and basically they were eating shrimps and singing like... Uh, crayfish, uh, crayfish. Oh, <laughs> shrimps yeah. <No>. and <laughs> lobsters, and uh, singing like... Uh, yeah, like a state boater, or how's it called, sailor? So like, it's a no, snaps visor. Snaps visor. Okay, yeah. snaps visor. Snaps visor. Snaps. Snaps. Snaps is the drink. Snap. Okay. Snaps. We drink snaps, um, snaps in the small glasses, and then visor means like songs. Snaps songs. Indeed. <laughs> we started to eat then and having shots and singing all this uh, um, Finnish Swedish, anthem, yeah. Swedish, Italian. We sing a li little bit of Fratelli English. Yeah, Fratelli d'Italia, the national anthem. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, I didn't expect that. It's it's really traditional. I didn't know you guys had actually like songs. In didn't your know we had a culture. No. I had no idea. No. Like, no, they're very. We do like like sit. It's like a kind of a seated party. Like we sit. It's a really long dinner. We just sit, mm -hmm. and usually we have three courses. But now because we had crayfish, we only ate crayfish. Um, I had some corn, but I forgot about it in the grill. So, with a barbecue. Um, what was your favorite part? Of the of the party? Oh, the, yeah. Okay. Uh, it was probably see all the all of you guys just singing along mm. and drinking over every <laughs> other minute. It was awesome. Like dinner started pretty. I would say what? like half past six or like seven. -ish. Yeah. Yeah. From all the way to like midnight or something. Yeah. And then just the party started. Well, yeah, we we're all <laughs> drunk and uh, and I f like yeah, I was. Falling over everything in the forest and uh, and something I didn't realize about Finland uh, because last year we talked about stereotypes so yeah we talk about Italian stereotypes now I want to introduce some people that didn't know this about Finland before coming here so I really thought it was going to be much colder yeah and it was 27 degrees when I got at the airport yeah yeah it's been a crazy day. hot like actually summer the whole summer's been re really non finished but I'm happy like this Italian human survived mm -hmm. because it, it would have been really bad if it was like like I remember I think it was last summer it was like on average maybe like 15 to 18 degrees like every single day like on midsummer it was like I think 12 so that was in June because I remember it was the same temperature on New Year's Eve and on midsummer it was so sad so that's, <laughs> I <laughs> that's wanted what to, yeah I was expecting that I wanted to experience that because I wanted to bring like all the you know the winter clothes that I have yeah. and then, and so I asked, is it gonna be cold? Or do I need a, yeah. a winter jacket? And then the end, we're just going around with a t-shirt, like nothing else. <sighs> and then another thing, I thought we were gonna see much more wildlife and mooses oh, around, kind of sad, going yeah. around Helsinki, you know. No, just, Helsinki, uh, no. Oh, well, the, the streets. Or, yeah, uh, And nothing, we just saw mosquitoes and uh, well, ticks. ticks, lots, oh, <laughs> another thing. We went camping pretty much and uh, we had a really bad experience. Yes, yeah, so we were walking through. I don't know if we walked through like some sort of tick nest or something. If they just like had cracked, they were like their eggs had just like uh, I don't even know what it's called. Mm -hmm. Um, but we were walking, like trying to find a good place to set up the tent, just walking. And then suddenly I look at my hand, and I literally have like forty ticks. If you don't know what the tick is, I think people know. Do you have Z them in Italy? Zicke. 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 Is it really called that? Zicke. I think you're kidding. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zicke, I wouldn't lie, of course. Okay, yeah. But, like, you know, like, they can spread, like, disease, like, Borrelia. Is that what it's called in Italian? I don't know. Borrelia? Borrelia. I have no idea. I know. Is it in English or it's... I don't know, that's in Swedish, at least. Borrelia. Yeah, uh, Borrelia. Uh, malaria? No, not the same thing. No, but I look at one of my hand, and I literally see, like, 40 of them. I had a white shirt on, so I was looking down, like, first I see it on my hand, I was like, what the... F and I started, like, taking it over the I see it, like, all over my sleeve. And like I think we had like over a hundred like together. Like she told me we were gonna see a few, but then I didn't expect that many. No, I we didn't, I've never seen that many. Like I've lived in Finland like almost the entire life, but like I've never seen that many. 
in one place. And at some point, where to stop and just dig in through... Well, oh, he had two hairy legs. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> you could see them on mine, but... Well, I couldn't see them on mine, so I thought it was gonna be over. Then I saw two biting me, and I had to take yeah. them off and kill them. And, they were uh, really, really, really small. Really? Like, that was, yeah. They were like baby ticks, I don't know. Like, you could barely see it. Like, they weren't black. Usually, like, they're really just, like, cold, like... Black. But still affected, because, I mean, so far, I, I keep feeling like a weirdness. I yeah. don't know, something, I think it's like, can they go inside their body and just dig in and... Yeah, you probably have like... Hmm. No, I don't think so. I don't know. So that's, that was the wildest thing we saw in Finland. Oh, well, we saw a fox. Yeah. And a few birds. <laughs> <laughs> Here and there, you know, and many mosquitoes. Uh, yeah, so that was really interesting. Also, um, um, you have so many, like... Forests and uh, and swamps and uh, yeah, and, uh, well, it wasn't really like swamps. That. It was like like you have a lot of I don't know what it's called vas in Swedish. It's like this high grass like whirls like basically on the shore and on the water like in the water, um, and we have walked through like fields and fields of. Uh, so in order to find a place to plant a tent, we were just well first of all we just look at Google Maps and say <laughs> okay that sound, that looks like a good location, yeah. and then eventually we find out it wasn't because we were just passing through swamps and uh, all the ticks and everything. And we so. didn't want to walk on someone's property so we tried to take like detours like kind of like walk around like okay this looks like I can't see any houses on the satellite view on Google Maps <laughs> let's walk here and then we just keep walking and walking and just like yeah we should should basically be there now and then we just like see this like whole wall of like the whole tall grass thing and the problem is like it's because it usually grows in water as well. Like it can start on land a little bit, but you know if it's like a long bit, like w the way in it, like it's mm -hmm. gonna be like you're gonna get soaked. So we didn't really want to walk through it. Yeah, but I walked through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, had we didn't both, want to. We didn't want, want to, but we, but we didn't. And so at some point we were in the forest, almost pretty much. Uh, well, you were complaining a lot uh, about life uh, and everything. Without him. <laughs> and, uh, and so we just had the drone, fortunately, so we just carried our location. Yeah, we didn't know. It we, might be legal. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We start footage here. No. <laughs> did, you, did you film any? Huh? I think you do like yeah, some yeah, videos. Yeah, I film. I film. I, yeah. It's, it's legal here. I can, I can... It is legal. Yeah, it's okay, legal. Okay, good. Then we can talk openly about it. Yeah. Was it, little weird it, wasn't a, it wasn't a drone, I just threw the camera yeah. in the air. <laughs> really high up, just one, two, three, and go! And go, and hope for the best. And so we just walked, we didn't walk in someone's property, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, and uh, we found this really, really pretty location, just planting, really nice. planting the tent and doing some fire and eating. I, I tried the sausages that night. Yeah, a cup of nosti. Like, it this was. week I tried to be as Finnish as possible, like, as Finnish as legally. Like, yeah, <laughs> as, legally as, as an Italian can get. And so we, uh, well, we ate twi pizza twice. Did we? Uh, well, one yesterday, one in uh, Turku. Oh, you had, you had pizza. I didn't have pizza yesterday. But I ate probably uh -huh. six or seven salmons and yeah. uh, so many potatoes and soup. I tried everything yeah. possible. What was your least favorite food? What was your favorite? Uh, my le uh, actually, the the pasta bolognese. Oh, he bought this really horrible pre pack It was like <laughs> movement theme. Like that's just like literally like yeah, I don't know. It was like from from the supermarket. Like one of those you just heat up the packet. Like the really gross stuff. I had just a few minutes to grab something to eat, and so I just saw it. It was like, oh, that's. She told me about those movement characters. <laughs> it must be good. It must be finished. And so, well, yeah. pasta bolognese it doesn't really sound Finnish, but <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I, so there was there were two packages, one with this carrot and mm. the other one it was clearly like a knockoff an Italian brand, mm. clearly. And so I said, okay, maybe I should try the Finnish one. Maybe they have a different flavor on, mm, on the pasta. It looked really bad. And it was really really bad. Like uh, pasta bolognese is supposed to be red, uh, and it was uh, like it was like brown. And it was brown mm. and a little bit. I think it was like marketed for kids, so that's why it like, didn't taste like anything because it's like kids food basically. I'm not sure. Well, but that was the worst. Yeah, I. I but other than that, I really, I really enjoyed um, <laughs> you flashing for the no. for the thumbnail. Oh yeah. So so, get, oops. Get Italian and Finnish gone horribly wrong. Gone wrong. Don't <laughs> click. <laughs> You can't believe what happened then. My grandma just saw what you can't believe what she <laughs> said. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have some coffee. Yeah, yeah what, what was your favorite food? My favorite food, uh, that's a good question. I really, I like the, um, I like so the in Turku, we went to Turku, which is this really, really small village in the forest, pretty much. 
<laughs> it's my hometown. It's, like, <laughs> it's one of like the ten biggest cities in Finland. Like it's not big, but it's... well, you have eleven. So <laughs> it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, me a deal. Me a deal. And the uh, my favorite. Okay, well, I really like the soup. We, we ate. Oh yeah, we had fish soup. We had was a fish soup in of the course, like market hall. Food. Yeah. And uh, I really like the. Um, the the soup we uh, we ate and the um, come on the, the pre-made soup uh, we ate uh, the canteen like, ah, so. the the cantarelle yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, like this the mushroom soup yeah okay yeah yeah so yeah. that was also like a but they're really good like they have like this like called lemon kuppi it's like main, meant to like, people usually eat them when they're sick or something like mm -hmm. they're really easy but they're still really good so you can just like put them in a mug and put on some hot water and it's the soup yeah and it has like a really good flavor of wood because yeah. we're cooking <laughs> we're cooking the fire and uh, unfortunately uh she didn't take care of it and so um enough playing yeah we had all the charcoal is it called charcoal 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 yeah uh, like yeah like just like the burnt flavor well, mainly wood pieces honestly yeah, um, mainly and so you with the spell you just have to dig in and try to not get mm. any but it's like bacteria. extra extra nutrients little minerals like it's mm. And then another great thing, uh, it was the sunset, probably like 10.30 or something. Ooh, yeah. yeah it would have been cool, like, in, uh, like, the northern, like, especially the more north you get in Finland. Like, during June, like, it never gets dark during the night. Like, yeah, it's like, well, the, now it only got dark for a few hours yeah. still, but, like, when it's, like, midsummer, which is around, like, the mid-end of June, um, like, the sun rises at, like, 3.50 a.m. or, like, 4 a.m. And then it's, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it rises at 4 a.m. and then it like sets at like 2. So it's only like dark for like 2 hours and then like I showed you some videos like comparing yeah, yeah, like yeah. one day on that day and one on like the darkest one. On the darkest day like that's in I think uh, no December, November maybe. And that's why I think like Finland it's really sad place to live. <laughs> you have nothing actually, to do no, other in, than in the winter it's <laughs> in the winter it's pretty like a lot of people get like Seasonal depression because of the lack of vitamin D. Anyway, so okay. we are supposed to go to Lapland for the for the, um, camping, but she told me you guys have like a really, really uh, hazard like fire yeah, we've had warning. Like yeah, fire warnings in uh, Finland. Like, now it's actually been raining, so. Mm -hmm. But that's been like just recent, like these few days. Um, but it's been so dry because of the heat. Like we're not expecting it. Like, like all like the farmers, they don't have any like. What's it called? Grains? Like they're like what's the name is called when you take the grains down? You get the harvest. Okay. Their harvest is ruined. <laughs> Great. Um, it's been so dry. Most of them. Like there's like no one in Finland has been prepared for this. And like I really also wanted to show you the archipelago because yes. that's like it's where I'm from. Like we have so many islands. Like probably like I don't know how many, a hundred thousands, but it's really like different. I think from from. Like where you're from in Italy. Absolutely, Verona. it was really different. Like yeah. we have in Italy probably like six or seven islands yeah. in total. <laughs> and we took like we started in Turku where I'm from, and then we uh, we drove out to Nagu where we have our summer cottage, uh, Nauvo in in Finnish, and then we took took the bikes from there. So we went by the bikes. Mm -hmm. um, you have to take ferries between most islands, either ferry or they have like small bridges. But we took like we biked to one ferry, and then we took that over to the next island, and then we did the same thing, and we like. Went as far as we could, and one day we went to all the way to Hulchar. Well, I believe you. Right? Yeah, 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 we did. <laughs> I don't really know how to pronounce those names. No. And so that was a really Finnish experience because you get to see like the farmland and mm. all the all the little cottages, really red, really woody. Yeah. And, uh, and also another thing that I didn't <laughs> didn't realize about Finland is, you know, you have. The cottage, and then you have the Shrek house. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I didn't <laughs> like really warn him. <laughs> um, so we usually don't have running, or we might have running. Like at our cottage, we have running water, but we don't have like uh, like uh, water toilet. You know, mm -hmm. like a water closet. <laughs> no, but it's like um, we have. You can wash your hands with water. You can do that, but we don't have a toilet. Um, and usually we have this place called uh, Utedas, <laughs> Tup, uh, whatever you want, outhouse. It's basically the Shrek house. Yeah, it's like a little little Shrek, cabin. Yeah. You have to usually it's a little bit separate from the house, so you have to walk a little bit. Uh, my friend, some snakes, no. Um, but it's just like, and it's like a compostable, like it's a, like it's a permanent porter potty. That's what yeah. I would say. Yeah. Yeah, because then you have to like, it's like it's made of wood usually, and it's like. Yeah, well, it works. I don't have to go on the details. But what if, yeah, what if 
it's like December, really cold at night, and it's snowing, and you see bears everywhere. Can you All can you go bear. to the bathroom or? Of course. Or you can just like not go. You see how <laughs> that goes. I don't know. I would prefer to go, but <laughs> that um, that was our. I but we don't really spend wanna, that much yeah. time there in the winter. No. No. I thought it was a really like, um, wintery thing. To go to the car? Oh, I don't like not our family. We usually like because the. Uh, is when our, like, we're, we're on vacation in okay. the summer, so you have time to go there because you don't really want to just go there for a day. And it's like, there's not much to do because like cottage, we usually like go fishing or we go out with the rowing boat or we do like, like cottage things, like summer things, go swimming and do the sauna and do like stuff like that. Um, but in the winter there's like, it's frozen, like the lake or like the water is frozen and it's cold and it's... Mm -hmm. You can't go to Burias Fisk. Get the smoked sh big fish. You can't get that. No. Which is bad. <laughs> no. So yeah, uh, Finland is basically a really sad place. But it's really modern. Like uh, I didn't expect that in Helsinki. You go to the library. Everything is modern. Everything yeah. is. You guys have a really really nice uh, uh, design. Yeah. For buildings or for architectures in general. We have a lot of interior designers from Finland. So a lot of like the. Um, like especially like the culturally important place, like the universities and the libraries and like um, like some sort of buildings, like they're very... It's basically like an, an Ikea library. Just a lot more expensive because Ikea is like the ripoff. Is it? And it's Swedish. I Come thought on. it... Well, no, I'm just kidding. Like, yeah, no, but I thought it was like a no, national very, symbol, yeah. like Ikea. Yeah, like Sweden, like I really love Ikea. I wouldn't say it's Finnish at all. It's Scandinavian, yes, it's a Scandinavian mm. symbol, but... Um, yeah, no, it's, it is Swedish, but we really appreciate it. We like uh, Ingvar Kamprad. He is a man. That's also the, that's the guy who made IKEA, Ingvar Kamprad. Was he? I thought he started just by selling matches or something. Yeah, like it's a. Yeah, I don't know. He's a really don't, greedy guy. Well, he, he, some call him greedy, some call him very economically uh, responsible. <laughs> um, <laughs> just a like, nice way to say you. No, but it's like he, he lived a simple life, even though. Like he had, like he was like a yeah, multi millionaire. To. Like he could have had the biggest villa somewhere, but he like lived in the same little house and drove his old like put put, put car. <laughs> oh, but he's a cool guy. I never met him, but he's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. And then we, we went bicycling around uh, the archipelago, and mm -hmm. uh, this girl, we well we had a lunch basically, and so we went to this restaurant. Tried I tried a uh, like a hot dog with shrimps. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like a scog and hot dog. It was a weird combo, yeah, but apparently it, was, it worked. Uh, I had a it was really, it was with... really messy. It was yeah. uh, there were sauce anywhere. Like well, mine was as well. I got a vegan burger, and usually like they put like I don't really like pickles, and usually they put like, two. <laughs> um, I had fourteen slices of pickles in my burger, so like I appreciate that they like didn't want to save them. They were like, yeah, you can get all the pickles you want. And but, like, we're gonna give you a favor. Yeah. It was really funny to see you just dig it in the burger and try to pick all the pickles. Mm. And put it like outside. I can't eat them. I just like I enjoy the burger so much more without the pickles. You know. Yeah, but thing with this restaurant, so mm -hmm. um, I didn't bring the key to my bike, like the lock to my bike, um, because I didn't really plan on leaving it anywhere. Um, but when we went to this little restaurant called Skagen in Hochat, I just wanted to like make it look like it was locked. So if someone would want to steal it, they would be maybe a little scared, like, ooh, it's got a lock on, let's not go <laughs> close to it, it might explode, no? But it's not really a lock, like it's, it's just something that prevent your like your wheel to spin yeah you it's can like just lift it it's like a button. stationary it's the stationary so you don't lock it to anything you just lock the wheel so you can't you can't you, you basically can't use it and i was just like gonna pretend to lock it which i like i put the stick in the hole um <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then <laughs> uh, the, in the process no, no, it's just, no, i'm trying to explain here <laughs> i just put it there and i didn't like push it in i just like left it like that but i don't know if i like i accidentally Put it in all the way. I I, I want to say I didn't, but I might have. You or, did. I saw you doing. Yeah. Like, let, let me live in a world when I'm just like, oh, it was totally accident. Um, <laughs> Especially because you scream like, I did not just do that. Yeah. No, but I, I noticed <laughs> it when we got back. You know. Mm. So like, that's why. But basically, so so apparently you could lock that bike without having a key, which I didn't thought was possible. I usually need a key to lock things, and that was just like I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna put it in. It's just probably gonna be able to put it out afterwards. 
And, and so we had the 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 bike that was locked and we couldn't go anywhere because we were pretty far from. We're like 15, 15 kilometers from the ferry. So and that ferry only had one more ride that day. In like or, an hour and a half. Two yeah. Hours. Or when we were like we're trying like to either take the bus from Hucha to like the ferry, um, but like. And going to Carpo and. Uh, yeah, but it's like everything just went wrong and like I tried to call because the buses usually go on school days like the latest ones. Um, I didn't know if like Paragas, which is like a local school, if they had started their school. So I was just like, yeah, I tried to call like the information, but they mm -hmm. closed at four. So I was just like, they, <laughs> I called it like like fifteen, like fifty seven. So they should have been open, but they were just like, you are standing in line, please wait. And then just like the time kept going. I was like, it was fourteen o no like four o five p.m. And I was just like, okay, like they, they literally just ignored me, like an information line. Just I got I got so rejected, and I was so sad. <laughs> And in the meantime, when she was trying to call them, I was going to... I saw like people talking, so I just wanna... We had like this plan to ask people if they could give us a ride, yeah. or if they were going to uh, to take the ferry as well. So we can hop in the, yeah. in the truck and then whatever. And so we, I met this really, really nice dude that told me, oh, the ferry is gonna be like an hour and 15. I'm not going there. But... Then she came, they were start, they were talking their native language, yeah. I don't even know. No, I just <laughs> for I usually I usually like um, it was it was a it was a weird experience. They they couldn't help you. They were just like no more fairies. No more fairies. Then, like, a poor lady in distress comes in. Like these like they were a really nice guy, but I think they're kind of uh they really wanted to help because I was really frustrated and they tried to like do anything. So I just came there and explained like in Finnish, like what happened, like well, I did. I kind of said that someone else locked my bike. <laughs> it might not have been the whole truth. I might have been stupid just myself. But okay, so someone else, like someone, just locked my bike, and now I'm stuck on this desert island, and I don't know what to do. Can you please help me? And I was just suddenly like, oh, you know what? I have a workshop. <laughs> like I, he, I can fix it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. Okay, he can fix it, or I, I mean, he probably has some sort of weird construction. He can get the lock like mm -hmm. up or something. I think, and he was. And like, she was so happy when she just told me, "This guy's gonna fix it. This guy, yeah, we're, like, fine. we're fine. I love, I believe in people. I love." And then this guy came out with like a chainsaw or something. No, like okay, so we follow him to his workshop, and we think he's gonna come up with some tools or something. And he comes out with this like circle saw. I don't know what it's called, but like a metal saw, like those spinning mm -hmm. ones. And he's just like, yeah, so should I start? <laughs> I was like, well, we've already gotten this far, so like... We can just say no, we'll <laughs> so don't he, break no. my bike. So he basically... He just cut the lock off. Yeah, he just sewed it yeah. all off. Um, it was like, he has some cool videos of it because it was yeah, like yeah, it sparks was everywhere. Because of like, you know, when you just use a metal object and you sew like other... No, not sew, is it called? Like, so it was getting was... closer to get a cool shot what he was doing and the, all the, all yeah. the sparks came on my face and my lenses. And, no. and, and she was almost crying. She was like, oh my god, yeah. I can't believe in people. I, yeah, well... Yeah. I was actually, first of all, I was really proud that I didn't cry because I was so frustrated with myself and I didn't realize how stupid I was and I was just like, I was like, okay, okay, keep yourself, keep yourself together now. This is not the moment. And I was already like called my dad twice about some like stupid thing and I felt really felt I felt really stupid and yeah. like I, you don't want to have to call like the same person all the way and stuff yeah so I did this wrong and it's like it usually doesn't even happen because I'm like basically semi-independent semi? -independent. semi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well like I try to like get my like stuff worked out by myself but that day was not one of the brightest and best ones for me so uh, my my father was kind enough to help um, he's not too mad about the bike because I'm getting a new lock. <laughs> um, but we saved a little stick. It's in yeah, we saved somewhere. a little stick. Or it might be actually in my bag. Let's see. I'm gonna actually check this. It might be in here. Yeah. Another thing that I wasn't expecting about Finnish people is when I say I'm Italian, they pr basically just say random Italian words like <laughs> like uh, window, <laughs> chair, or frutti di mare, or frutti di mare. Oh. That's a popular one. Everyone's just like Fru oh, it's frutti Italian, di mare. frutti di mare. <laughs> and they're always gonna have to do the the Mario accent, like frutti di mare, Mario, oh mamma mia, pizza, porco dio. Okay, I give up. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <sighs> It was a good for though. So I should get offended every time I see like a stranger saying, you know, being unrespectful of my culture because we're not just Mario. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, this is what it is. What am I, what am I gonna do? What you gotta do about it? Hmm? Nothing, nothing. Yeah.
Yeah, it happens. People, but like they just wanted to show that. Oh, I know some Italian. <laughs> Listen to this. Maybe I put it in here. I did not. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. It's a glass. Now Stop. I can't think about anything else. Um, no, but they really liked. I think they were all really happy that we got some some fresh Italian meat. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, but they were like, I, I, all my friends always like to like meet people from different cultures mm -hmm. and like even though like like people mostly know Italian, it's like always fun. Like especially like doing like stuff like this, it's not just like you're not just a tourist, like you're yeah, with I'm, us. I'm like part of the family, I'm part of the yeah. you know, the wolf pack. And like like I actually like I really I, we don't eat crayfish a lot at home, so I, I'm also <laughs> really bad at doing it. It's like are you not gonna show him? I was like oh no, no this girl will show him. Like I'm like I don't even know how to do that properly, because I'm like, also like I've been vegetarian and then like my just our family doesn't like or like our my parents do have crayfish party, but they never. They never invite you? Oh, because they drink, so... It's, it's pretty sad. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> no, but it's like, some families did it all together. My, my parents did it, or they've been doing it with like their like old friends, like they reunite, and which I understand. We've had like a few with like some family friends, but mostly, like, it's a kind of a friend thing, like you do with your university friends or something like uh -huh. that, your high school friends, and you all meet, and it's like a big, yeah. big dinner party. And so... Coming here in Finland it was such a nice experience because I got to be finished for like 10 days and pretty much do everything possible to pretend to be a Scandinavian. So. No, like, okay, so here you went camping in the Finnish archipelago. Yes, with ticks. Uh, with ticks, yeah, you got you got your first tick bites. Oh, um, what else? You, you you went to the festival, went to Flow Festival. I went to the Flow Festival. And you got to listen to some techno music. I, I, I got to... Some of you are, I didn't realize it. People don't really listen to techno here. Just uh, well, like probably some groups, like me and my friends, we don't really. We listen to a lot of Swedish music and English music. And, and just... techno is life for an Italian person. Like, techno I noticed. Is, like at the at the party, I was drunk uh, and I took my speaker. I just went to sleep with a yeah. speaker <laughs> playing techno all night. He was just like, we were, like listening at some point. We were all sitting there. Like it was like man, like mine it was like, two a.m. or something, mm, three probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Um, I'm probably four. I don't really, I don't recall. <laughs> um, and we're just like, like, what, what is this weird music coming from? And then we, we walk in and we see. Let's finish the sheet. <sighs> Okay, we're so the, the where um, I forgot the, about the thirty minutes limit, so we might have lost ten minutes of conversation. Uh, basically, I was telling that the the Finnish stereotypes about like people in general that I thought they were not gonna be as. Uh, as a attract to me, but yeah. of course they were. Or like open and like wanted to talk and stuff like that. Yeah, so I had many, like multiple conversations with nice people and mm -hmm. when you were talking about Italians, politics and stuff, something that I didn't even know. Yeah. Well, I knew, but I didn't know you guys knew. Um, Should we move those stuff. out of the frame? I don't know if you could see, but yeah, oh, you can put it down. Know. Are you done with your coffee? Mm, yeah, I'm done. I mean... Are you not... What are you doing? Disgusto. Disgusto. Exactly. Like, Disgusto. Not, Madonna. Just say, Madonna. No, <laughs> random Italian words. Don't say porca. And, uh, <laughs> well, actually, this video is in English, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, porca di. How, how bad is it, Miss Madonna? Is it okay? You go to prison. No. I was <laughs> like, nah. No, you're kidding. It's uh, uh Because you guys and your friends, you say it a lot. We, we Yeah, it's kind of like the C word. We say it a lot. And... Everyone says a lot. Yeah. We're talking about... So we had this little thing. It's a big thing in Italy and Spain and Mexico and pretty much all the countries that are really supportive about religion. Yeah. As a, we just kind of make fun of it. And so we approach any adjective to either God or Madonna yeah. or, or Jesus. Which is really wrong, but it's something like... It's culturally... Yeah. It's, we but do it's like it. just like saying as the, like, oh my God. Like, or yeah. Jesus Christ. Like, that's also in English, like, they use it, but it's not in the same level. But, maybe. I mean, you're not making fun of, <laughs> of no, no, Jesus no, that's true. No, in that I case. No. And, so, that Finnish, and no. so, she learned pretty much all the vocabulary and... Uh, and I, I only think... learned, like, really bad stuff. So, if I would just, like, go around and joke, people, like, would probably really just, like, be so mad at me. Like, if I went on like, in the streets of Italy and just started screaming <laughs> all the stuff I know, they would, like, literally, like, I would probably get punched in the face. No, they will support you. <laughs> they <laughs> they were like, just yes, no, like, uh, Finland, it. yeah. 
Oh. And so uh, the question that I asked her before is, uh, would you change anything from uh, mm. or what you already done from the trip in the past 10 years? 10 days? <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> in the past 10 years, 10 years. 10 years. would you change your life in the past um, 10 years? No, it's like, I think, well, it's like I said, um, it gets really intense when you spend like this, like much time together. Like we've been together like 24 hours a day for 10 days. Like that's yeah. a lot of hours. That is. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, for you, that's a lot of hours yeah. to spend with you. <laughs> um, so maybe just like, I know I can sometimes get a little annoyed, and then like I get, I get frustrated if I notice that someone else is annoyed, and I'm just like, well, if you can act like that, maybe I should as well. And then I think we both kind of thought that way, and we're just like kind of being childish sometimes. That's like, her point of view. <laughs> yeah, that's my point of view. Yeah, but it's like that's like the only thing, um, and like. Nick, no, you, you have time to do sauna, but like, I'm sad that we couldn't do the sauna. Ah, the sauna, yeah, yeah. It's, it's basically just... But like, you, you, you know have you been in a sauna before? I've been so in a sauna it's like, before, yeah. It, it is the same, but it would have yeah. been cool to do it, like... Do you guys go naked, or yeah, almost, or? It depends, like, some people have no problem, like, they'll go naked with anyone. Do you go naked, no? Um, I would go with my family. Okay. Or, like, it's same sex, like, not at, like opposite sex I wouldn't sit but completely like, naked yeah and like in swimming halls and stuff like that you're not even allowed to wear like your bathing suits huh. but it's like only like the, the females are separate and the males uh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah yeah so you don't go like they have some like like what they called like both sex uh -huh. both sexes in the same um some usually those you can wear swimwear absolutely like but like in the the same sex um saunas most of the time, like in, in like swimming halls and stuff like that, you're not allowed. Like, so you can wear a towel around you. Mm -hmm. most people, like most people are kind of fine with nudity. So it's like, I think it's pretty good. Like, I know, like I, I know in like Canada on exchange, a lot of people are mo much more reserved, like with their bodies and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I remember like in the changing rooms after like pee or something, like people wouldn't shower because they were like, they were like refused to like see other people naked and I was like that's like that's kind of disgusting like I I don't want to I play like soccer now for a an hour and a half like I'm not gonna go to class like this um yeah but they didn't like really shower but like in Finland like you grow up like being in that kind of environment like in school as well like you have to shower like if everyone is fine with like nudity mm -hmm. and it's like not a big deal that's why I noticed in like Scandinavian movies and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's always much more allowed to like have it's like basically all TV shows are like the HBO shows. There's a lot of nudity, like mm -hmm. Game of Thrones and stuff like that. And it's like it's allowed to be like that. And I think it gives, like especially like I don't know. I can only think from a girl's point of view, but I think it's good that you don't just see like Photoshop image. Like you see real mm -hmm. yeah. women and real bodies all the time, and it's like you get more used to it and you know like that everyone is different and you know like some people look like this, some people look like that, some people like. I didn't yeah, some people are just ugly. <laughs> what was that? No, but it's just like just, <laughs> I just didn't find a word. Okay, no, no, but it's just like you see, like you, it's not just this like one Photoshop image, and that's what I think. Like I think like nudity should be more appreciated, and not just like in a sexual way. We should go naked in on the street. Let's do it. <laughs> 2019. Yeah, that's no, a new course, trend. Sure. Oh, we actually have um, a tradition in our. Um, <laughs> University mm -hmm. on the first of May. It's uh -huh. called uh, I don't know what it would be called in English. It's called Propeller Scotta. It's like propeller. Uh, what do you club. do? Um, what do you guys do? Well, the girls don't do anything, but the guys run around. The, they have like the student hats, uh -huh. and they run around the street just naked with the hat on top of their private parts. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, the. The only um, public nudity that I've seen is probably, well, not the only one, but the most uh, effective one, <laughs> San Francisco Pride. Oh, yeah. I saw a lot of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Disgusting. Well, not disgusting. Well, just maybe not your cup of tea. Yeah. No, it's just like, yeah, of course, like, it's, it's not, you're not used to it. Public especially. nudity is not like, I don't, I don't, I'm not for it in any each place. Nudity is nice. I mean, because no one places. told me about it. Yeah. So we were, like, it was four years ago in, um, uh, with my host family, and we were in San Francisco, and no one told me about this thing. I just saw random people naked around <laughs> I was like, why is this going on? <laughs> yeah. No, that wouldn't really happen here. <laughs> not that I've seen, maybe. Depends. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Yeah. 
But next time you try to finish sauna. But it's like the same sauna, sauna. It's just yeah. like in Finland, it's much hotter in the sauna. Next it's time weird. you go to Africa, we try the sauna. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna organize a new a new trip. Mm. Places we haven't seen. And so, um, to wrap it up, um, yeah, I think the same. Like spending ten days with a person that is not your girlfriend and it's not your friend. Uh, no. It's really <laughs> no. But it's like like we we talk. And I've been kind of bad at keeping in touch. It's all thanks to him that we are Jesus still... Christ. Like, she hasn't texted me since May, May probably. But I didn't To even... my defense, I was working like 15 hours a day. So I was like, basically, like... My, my parents thought I died as well. But she texted me after four months, pretty much the day, the same day of departure, you know, the previous day. So I didn't know, am I, am I still coming? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Do you no. still want me? But it's like, I'm so happy you came still. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Um, it was and... worth it. Yeah, so. okay, good. That's the most important yeah, part. It was and it's totally like, worth it. So. I think you got a good like picture of what Finland is. Like both the city life and the like the kind of country life and like the student life like yesterday and like mm. everything like that. So you got to see it was like a good view into like my reality. And I think you got some good pictures as well. In the <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. Follow Shout out to this Instagram. guy. My content is like up here now. It's no more like sunsets and food. It's really <laughs> funny when you like you. The same thing happened to Cheyenne when I visited her in California yeah. this summer. It's a. Uh, it just pa it just you see your Instagram feed just selfies and really like iPhone photo style, and then uh, the, the suddenly lens, Lorenzo <laughs> suddenly comes. Again, like, the photographer comes and. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, fo yeah. follow me on Instagram, Lorenzo Films. And, uh, well, I can't really pronounce my Instagram handle. It's like Charlotta. Charlotta without the A, pretty yeah. much. No, but it's good. I, I like it. It's like, I'm usually kind of awkward in front of the camera. I don't know. I don't, I just like, I'm fine with like taking selfies because then I can see what I look like. But like sometimes when I'm just in front of the camera, I just get like really like, but like I've gotten more used to it now. So it's like. Especially when you have a guy with a huge lens in yeah, front like, of your camera, like, Hi. Like, smile. And he's like, mm, I see all your pimples. I'm like, thank you. Mm, thanks. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so uh, much. Uh, mo uh, mo molto, molto bene. Molto bene. Yeah. And uh, you find all the links down below. Is the promo code Lorenzo. And keep an eye out for our video that we made together. The one in the water and on this forest. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah He's yeah, making yeah. a really cool video of the Finnish like, nature and stuff. Yes. So you can see how awkward I am there. Yeah, so the following my acting. Weeks, I'm going to upload it. Yeah. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being so kind. Thank and... you for being, letting me be on your chat. No, <laughs> your video. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for everything. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Now we gotta do the thumbnail, should we like just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just I can't believe this Going happened! <laughs> like, what the fuck? No. I just have to check how many, how many likes I have. How many likes? How many clicks?